My name is Dr. Mark McDonnell. I'm a Senior Research Fellow at the Institute for Telecommunications Research at University of South Australia. I'm currently an Australian Research Fellowship recipient from the Australian Research Council. One of the uh, major advantages of having a fellowship such as mine is the uh, autonomy that it gives me. My work to me is not a job, it's, uh, it's like a hobby. I get to work on exactly what I want to work on research-wise. This allows me also to manage my work-life balance quite well. My research interests are in the field of computational and theoretical neuroscience, which means modelling biological systems to do with the brain, so neurons within the brain, but both mathematical and simulation-based modelling and also looking at theoretical aspects of how the brain works and how the neurons within the brain contribute to how we think and how we process information. To me, understanding how the brain works is one of the final frontiers of science and it will lead to enormous breakthroughs. So one of the projects I've worked on is uh, signal processing for cochlear implants or bionic ears. So bionic ears are surgically implanted by medical prosthetics that allow profoundly deaf people to hear by bypassing the outer parts of the ear entirely using electrical stimulation of the nerve of hearing. And some of my work has led to proposals for improved ways of doing that electrical stimulation and enable deaf people to be able to perceive, for example, music better than they can at the moment. So I have students here at ITR, PhD students, plus also honours level undergraduate students. More broadly, I collaborate quite widely with researchers both within UniSA, other universities in South Australia and Australia and around the world. Uh, it's not, not experimental work, it can all be done on a computer or using mathematics and enables this worldwide collaboration in a, in a fairly simple way. It was back in about 2004, I was getting towards starting to write my PhD thesis and suddenly I thought, well, what am I going to do afterwards? I need to find a postdoc position. And it was suggested to me to apply for a fellowship. I knew that ITR was a world-class research environment for information theory. I approached the director of ITR and Alex Brandt and proposed to write an ARC fellowship, which I did. It took two attempts, but I was ultimately successful. I found the uh, research environment at UniSA very exciting because UniSA is rapidly I improving and increasing its research outputs and there's room to breathe because of this and it's quite exciting. I quite regularly travel overseas to conferences and I usually also spend some time working with some of my collaborators at their home institutes on the same trip away as a conference or they often come to the same conferences as me and we, we do work at the conferences as well. As well as the uh, travel, the financial support has allowed me to buy the resources that I need for my work, some high-end computers, books, so on, and, and to employ casual research assistants. Another very important factor that has contributed to UniSA being such a great research environment for me is the mentoring I've received through the development programs. These programs have provided me with mentorship both in research and research leadership, and I don't think I would have got these opportunities elsewhere. Right now, work-life balance is uppermost in my mind because I have a five-month-old son and this has been a new challenge in my life to be able to balance time spent with my family with time spent on my research. It's something I'm still learning, but having a fellowship makes it a much simpler scenario than it might be. What excites me is the opportunities to grow and expand a new research area. Mathematical and computational modelling of neuroscience is a rapidly expanding research field around the world and in Australia and it's uh, really exciting to be in this kind of field at a university which is also simultaneously progressing its research.